your own understanding, truth under Babylon's imperialism. What up? So I'm going to talk about a female nurse that experienced extreme repercussions in regard to her testimony about her job and the current situation we are in. And she spoke, uh, she spoke very candidly about the true issues in, in uh, the medical establishment that she worked for. She was talking about how uh, disrespectful and disregarding the staff was in, in regard to the patients and everything else that was happening in there. In respect to the uh, the C CV, so I was so intrigued uh, in regard to her story and her her bravery for actually speaking, expressing herself, not the opinions of others, but expressing herself through her own experiences. And she actually posted her testimony on on YouTube. And I saw it when she did it, and this was, uh, I guess, around the first, uh, the first quarter of the whole, whole uh, epidemic. And I also uh, had my own separate, you know, notions about the things that are happening. So, so later on, I had to, you know, I had to. Well, months later, I had to backtrack and find out what happened to that lady because I know they're doing a lot of uh, a lot of cleaning in regard to people you know exposing uh, different things and this woman I actually googled her and Google information gave me the understanding of her being in prison now and she's not eligible for parole until 2035. Mind you, it was 2020 when she said this. So the girl got 15 years for speaking her, her truth. I'm not even going to say her name because, you know, um, you, you probably had seen many people speak their thoughts in regard to that. But this particular person, you know, supposedly, according to Google, is now incarcerated. So what I what I can understand from the things that are happening right now is sooner or later, probably sooner than later, they are going to militarize vaccinations. They're going to actually get the military involved because they're going to give, they're going to create the scenario where nurses are so overwhelmed or so at risk that they have to take it out of the hands of GP and put it in the hands of the military. And that will further, you know, enforce their authority when it comes to you and what they want for you. And this is a uh, steady happening. And it's not the only thing. There's a lot of other things that are going to result from the problem reaction solution uh, protocols that they are keeping. And I will say that outside of that, we are looking at a an election. I'm sorry, a selection that I know the propaganda right now and all of the non-reporting of, I can't even say actual incidents because they're all actors. All the, all the politicians, everyone you see on TV, they all are reading from scripts and the scripts are all part of a play. And so if you see someone going at, going at someone else in regard to um, policy or legislation, uh, fighting over what they know is right, you know, and one faction saying no, another faction saying yes, and all this other stuff. It's there just to buy time for them. They know what they're going to do. Uh, they know what exactly is going to happen. And 
man, we all, we have some serious issues. We really need leadership within ourselves because a leader is a target. So we need the leadership mentality. I mentioned this before. We need a leadership mentality. So obviously when one is taken out, another steps right up. One is taken out, another steps right up. Three are taken out, five step right up. That's the only way this will ever work, freeing ourselves from this. It's a trap. And we're the mice. And Tom is running around like he just has no authority over him. So we, we really need to get it together, get together, and stay together. All the uh, rhetoric that you hear in regard to trying to shield us from the TV is the exact rhetoric you use when you want to divide and conquer people. So we have to figure out what's more important. Get down to the basics. What's more important? What they're telling us or what we are experiencing? What's more important? What they are telling us or what we are experiencing? It's up to you.